thanks for coming tonight. Before you is half of our beginners. We split the show up because as you can see, the gym is quite full, which is half of us. Actually, I would say probably comfortably full. Maybe what we call church full. Um, and um, if we fit us all in here, we're just a standing room only. So we, we split the concert into two. So this is half of our beginners. Half, um, all of our period three beginning wins class, half of period four, and half of our period seven percussion class. Um, they have only rehearsed twice together for about 30 minutes. Um, and so tonight is only the, the, the third time this group has ever assembled together to play for you. We're going to start out, before we get to the, the selections we prepared for you, with a little musical informants. We'd like to take you on their journey of how we started to learn to play our instruments because all of these students are going to play their instruments for the first time this year. So, the very first time we came into band class and, and had our instruments, we sounded like this. That sound, the sound of nothing. Because we didn't know how to put them together, we had to pick our instruments, we had to do all that stuff. But then, we started learning how to put the pieces together. There's many, many, many pieces and stuff these instruments, but we started with just a little mouthpiece. You have to listen really carefully to hear the sound that we learned today on our mouthpiece. That's out. And that's one of the reasons we don't send the instrument home for the first couple of weeks. You're welcome. <laughs> well, after that, we, we, we have to learn how to hold the instrument. And, and there's there's like eight or nine different instruments here. So imagine like PE class coming into this gym and trying to teach volleyball, basketball, uh, field hockey, badminton, softball, flag football, soccer, running out of sports. Um, Swimming, you know, with all the different equipment, all in the same room. That's kind of how they had to learn to play all of their instruments together in the same room. How to hold them, where to put their fingers, how to, where does the slide go on the drum hole so it doesn't fall off and all that stuff. Well, we finally figured that out, and we're able to make our first note, and it sounded like this. Oh, 
And this song will also feature our woodwind instruments and our brass instruments separately. So you'll see them each get a, get a shot here.
And so this group before you is our intermediate band. And they're made up of eight graders who participated in a beginning program like you just saw at the start of our concert. And also some talented seventh graders who came to us because they already got started in the elementary program in a Cypress elementary district. Uh, or they got started elsewhere in the elementary program. And we're really excited that they're continuing that program in the Cypress Elementary District, and we're seeing it grow. We actually have some second year players this year that we'll be doing some events with later on. Super excited about that. We're going to start out with an exciting fanfare by John Kenyon, kind of features a, a, a big bold fanfare in the beginning and a little Google section in the middle. This is John Kenyon's festival fanfare. Yeah.
wonderful songs for you. What we'd like to do is take you on a little journey of how we learn to play our instruments so you can understand the great progress they made. So when we first started to play our instruments, when we first showed up to play our instruments, it sounded like this. Because they didn't know what instruments they were going to play, how to put the thing, which end to, which end to blow in, you know, um, any of that. Um, and then we finally started getting instruments and they started learning how to make this sound on just a mouthful spot. And you have to listen really carefully because it's just such a subtle sound. So if you listen carefully, you might hear what they learned to do on the mouthful. Just, just developing that sound, which is one of the reasons we didn't send the instruments home for the first two weeks. You're welcome. Um, and um, eventually, we learned to put it together, but it takes a little time when you put it together, because it's not just one instrument, there's about seven or eight different instruments. So imagine if you had a group of 60 kids in this, in this gym, and you're teaching them to play basketball, and volleyball, and football, and baseball, and badminton, and uh, oh, wrestling, and let's throw hockey in there. Um, with all the different pieces of equipment, all in the same room, all at once. That's kind of what it's like learning to put all these different instruments in the same class at once. So it took us a while to figure out where do our fingers go, which way do I hold it, how do I keep the slide from falling off the end of the trombone, all of those things before we could play one note. But when we did find it on one note, it sounded like this.
um, the ability to work with others, the ability to lead others. And we have a, a strong student leadership in our, our advanced quality band and features band officers and section leaders. I'd like to take a moment to introduce them to you, and if you could please stand as I, as I introduce your name. Our section leaders um, had to, had to apply and say why they thought we were a good leader. They're in charge of organizing and leading your section. While our beginners were in here warming up in front of you, they were all warming your section up over in the band room on your own, and they wish you were tuning in. Starting with our suit, our, our flutes, our flute section leader is Alyssa Ponsuani. Jackson Cook. Uh, trumpets section leader is Aline Palmer. Our French horn section leader is Mishka Gandhi. Um, in charge of all of the low brass is Travis Glover. And our, and our percussion section leader is Emily Mandala. We have three band officers that are responsible, who are responsible for the daily organization and running of the band, passing out music, passing out collecting papers, checking attendance, making sure we're all ready to go before the bell rings. And they include our band librarian, Ella Chong. Our band secretary, Kathy Key. far, far away, there were some evil villains. But there were also some good people. There was a St. Nicholas who once came to meet one of the evil villains named Darth Vader. And when the two met, we experienced the dark side of Christmas.
Thank you all again for your support.